When you are trying to mate features together in X-Design, it can become quite difficult because these planes can get in your way. If I'm going to try and mate two components together, but I need to click on you know, two faces, for example, or an edge and a face, or a um, cylindrical and a face, I need to zoom in really, really far in order to be able to click on that certain feature that I want to mate because these planes get in the way. And every time I move my mouse over these planes, then it auto it wants to auto select on one of these planes. So there's a couple options to go around and get rid of these planes temporarily or permanently if you would like. The first tip I want to mention is let's say that you've already tried opening up all the parts in your assembly and you wanted to manually you know just hide each of the plane per component but you have a lot of components located in your large assembly. Well, now you've just got a huge mess going on in your feature tree and you don't want to spend time um, clicking on all the arrows to shrink your command tree. So one little tip is that if you go up to your top level component where all your um, parts and sub assemblies are housed and you right click on the top level uh, component of the assembly and you can go down and select collapse and it'll collapse your uh, feature history tree for you. Now in order to get rid of all of these planes, what you want to Now in order to get rid of all of these planes that are in your way, what you're going to want to do is go down to the view tab and then select view filters. Once you select view filters, you will see that another dialog box will appear above it that gives you some other options for different reference um, components that you can hide inside of 3D Experience X Design, such as sketches, points, constraints, axes. And finally, reference planes. In this example, we're going to want to click on hide reference planes. So once you select hide reference planes, you will see all those planes will disappear for you, giving you the freedom to go in and select faces and other components so you can mate them together with ease. And if you want those planes back, simply go back to the view filters tab and select hide slash show reference planes again so that they will reappear. Another way to go about doing this is as well in the view tab to go over to view modes. From view modes, you can navigate down to the visibility tab and then slide planes to off. This will turn off all planes inside of your assembly, hiding the planes temporarily so you can go in and perform your mates with ease. Again, once you want those planes back, go back inside of view modes, back to visibility, and then slide the planes back on.